What's going on guys? Deadly here and welcome, welcome to another episode of uh, the Road to Division 1. And right there we bought Sam. We actually picked up Estian in a pack that we got from winning the tournament. So if you guys don't remember where we, we got him from, that's from a tournament pack that we won for winning. But we bought Sam and we picked him up for 1.6 coins as you guys are about to see right here. And the reason I decided to buy him before I showed you guys everyone and how the total of the money that we got from selling everyone was because he looked really, really good for his price. He was the cheapest one by around 1.6. 5k so we're gonna be making a little bit of profit on that but everybody else sold uh the two teams that we had and we actually should have kept some of these some of those players because we actually end up buying them again for the two teams that i'm about to show you but uh, we end up selling everybody and get around 67k i believe it was before we bought um before we bought sam but 67k to build two teams and these are the two teams that we built there's the bundesliga team and like i said i probably should have kept some of those guys because we've already had dante we already had how it is i'm pretty sure we already had thiago we already had bender so there's some new faces in the new bundesliga team like sun and sam and uh, boateng and al ogo that informed left back um, who was honestly very, very much worth the coins compared to how overpriced the left backs were. I thought he was going to be a lot more expensive. Um, not at all. He was actually pretty cheap for being an in, in, in and one of the best left backs in the game. Uh, and when I say one of the best, I mean like one of the best left backs that you could put in a Bundesliga team. Obviously, there's Alaba, who's a lot better. Arguably, you could say Ricardo Rodriguez is a lot better. But, you know, in form decent stats and he wasn't bad for the price and i think i paid three thousand thirteen thousand five hundred for him so he was the cheapest one so uh and, and he's an inform so it's a price that's always going to go up so there's a little tip for you guys i always like to throw in little tips uh, every once in a while even though i don't plan i'm getting an inform player uh for pretty close to his discard price is always very good especially if they're no longer in packs because th their price is bound to go up but anyways the first game that we come up against you guys are probably wondering what the heck no highlights there were none that was an extremely boring game and maybe it was because we were very evenly matched but look at the stats they're there i had more possession he had more shots but they were very very close to each other so we end up tying that game and we go up into the very next game which is a very very nice like in bbv8 team but the 41212, although it's very easy to build teams around it's not a very good formation or rather i can't say that i haven't used it yet but from what i've seen it's not a very good formation and right away sun getting a, an amazing header i normally don't criticize headers as amazing or even anything near that but that was a really good header it was an absolute rocket doesn't matter Menzukic puts him one to one and then sam gets a little bit cheeky here he gets past the two defenders there and then he tries this audacious chip which actually almost goes in except for it hits the bar and sun is there to pick up the pieces now you're probably wondering why i attempted that chip and why i'm gonna attempt this chip right here and that's because air japes fifa has got me on this whole thing where whenever i see the chip open i go for the chip so if you guys are wondering why i keep going for chips you can go ahead and blame japes for that one but uh, a little bit of who knows what happens on in the box and he gets himself a second goal after we go 3-2 up and then he makes a very very bad mistake here he should have passed it off essentially as soon as he got that ball from me he should have passed it off to his keeper he decided to hold on to it Kalu took the ball away from him and that's our 4-2 victory to get us three points in the division so now we're up to four points after that draw and we're looking good we're looking a little bit better than we did in the previous division where it was just draw after draw after draw and the teams are feeling good uh, that being said we've only used the bundesliga team so we're going to go ahead and hop into this team with the bpl team but the teams are working well i like that my wingers are getting involved i like that it's a it's a very attacking formation and a lot of the people in the lower divisions can't seem to handle pressure from attack but anyways he gets a really strange corner from that uh, corner he was running away from the ball and somehow managed to head it backwards and it doesn't matter he got enough power on it to get the goal but I'm able to get myself a goal with Jack Wilsh here he then gives me a penalty not long after that and Aaron Ramsey stepped up to the spot and it seems like a lot of people don't seem to go down the middle I always shoot down the middle and I always seem to get the goal uh, last year it was a little bit different I tend to go to the sides because people block the middle I don't know what caused that changed but it did and now people block the sides but anyways that's the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did let me know in the comment section below and as always have a great day or night depending on when you're watching this peace